moviegoers. Okay, we apologize. We don't have that story. Let's move on. The gates at Burlington's busiest parking garage are now left up. It's part of an effort to improve traffic flow on Bank Street and South Winooski Avenue and also provide a pandemic-related benefit at the same time. Local 22's Mike Hoey shows us more. For two to three years, Jeff Padgett of Burlington Public Works says the Queen City has wanted to solve the traffic jams from cars waiting to enter the Marketplace garage. The need for a solution became more urgent this month with South Winooski Avenue's four travel lanes reduced to three. City staff found the most cost-effective option was leaving the gates up and using the Park Mobile app or the self-serve kiosk before you leave the garage. We also get a touchless environment, which is great. Um, we, you know, that's part of what we're really you know, trying to sell people on is this idea that, you know, we're not making change for change's sake. Nearby merchants will likely be able to give you free parking at Marketplace after the two hours free are discontinued there at the end of the year. We haven't fully vetted all of the, you know, mechanics of that yet, but fundamentally it will be a no purchase, no purchase necessary validation program. Alex Bunton of the Burlington Business Association is wondering if this is the best way to generate parking revenue and relieve overcrowding. We're concerned that this will impact how uh, people come downtown and when they come downtown, especially when businesses right now are hurting. The BBA hopes a chance to win prizes and gift certificates just by parking will help alleviate that pain. If uh, you come downtown and you park in Marketplace Garage, uh, anywhere on street, or if you sign up for the first time uh, for Park Mobile, then you're entered to win a prize up to $200 from local local merchants. and so. That's a, that's a hopefully a good incentive for folks to come downtown. The raffle is part of Park Mobile's sponsorship of the Save Local VT online auction where prizes are donated by Queen City businesses. Raffle entries and auction bids both close this coming Thursday, October 29th. Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. Let's get back to that story in the Empire State as some movie.